running. There he is, blood, gore, intense, violent, news. I just want to make sure my audio is okay. Hi everyone, this is Tom from Digital Woods. Just wanted to do a quick little thing here. Stick around after today's episode for a little comment from our gracious hosts at Showcase uh, after the video. Otherwise, let's get to the action. See you in a bit. What's up, everyone? Yo. Welcome back to another tabletop adventure here at Digital Woods. You might notice we're in a completely different location. And things look different. That's because we're over here at Showcase uh, Games and Hobbies here in Bryn Mawr. I can believe that's how you yeah. pronounce it. Bryn Mawr. In PA. Uh, they were so kind as to let us use their facilities and, more importantly, their terrain and boards. Which you'll get to see in just a bit. We're very much looking forward to having some new fields to play on. Yes. And hopefully, uh, as we continue to play here, uh, we'll get some interest and maybe uh, pick up some extra people to mix in and maybe they'll bring in some armies with themselves. Could be. Try out some new stuff. But with that being said, today we are doing a thousand point game between the new Thousand Sons and the good old reliable Adeptus Mechanicus, and they are bringing a knight with them. Of course they are. That's Mechanicus Knight, but hey! Uh, with that being said, let's get to our army so we can get to the action as quick as possible. See you in a bit. All right, so here's going to be my thousand points ish, more like 998 points of Thousand Sons. I'm going to be running the Cult of Time for this one, and uh, I'll be bringing a battalion detachment. And let's get right into it with my HQ, who's going to be a Sorcerer in Terminator armor with an Infernal Calmy Bolter and his Force Stave. Uh, he's also going to be bringing his Familiar. Uh, and his warlord trait is going to be High Magister, because on him it's so good. Uh, next up is going to be his Psychic Powers, which is going to be Boon of Mutation and Treason of Zinch. And I know he can't normally take that, but I'm spending a command point to make him be able to take that. So that's one down. Uh, next up is going to be the Daemon Prince of Zinch with Wings. Uh, and he's going to be bringing his two Malefic Talons, uh, the Warlord Trait of Aether Stride for one more command point down during uh, creation. Uh, his Relic that he's going to be bringing along is going to be the Hourglass of Morat, uh, which is a Relic from the Cult of Time. Uh, and his Psychic Powers are going to be Warp Time and Diabolic Strength. Uh, moving on from him, I've got one Exalted Sorcerer with his Force Staff and Infernal Bolt Pistol. Uh, and his Psychic Powers are going to be Weaver of Fates and Prescience, because both of them are always good. Next up for troops, I've got two identical groups of five-man Rubric Marines, all carrying Infernal Bolt Guns. And their Aspiring Sorcerers are all carrying their Force Staves and Pistols. Uh, for their psychic powers, uh, the one with the actual inspiring sorcery model is going to be bringing temporal manipulation, and the one with the uh, big cannon is going to be my stand-in aspiring sorcerer. Uh, he's going to be bringing Zinch's Firestorm. I also happen to be bringing ten Zangors, all with Zangor blades. And in the back, I'm going to be bringing a dedicated transport uh, in the form of a Chaos Rhino, with a combi melta. And as my heavy support choice, I'm bringing a Chaos Land Raider with twin heavy bolter, twin las gun, and combi melta. And that's my army. Okay, folks, this is going to be my 1,000 points on the nose of Adeptus Mechanicus. It is going to be split between two detachments. First off, I have a battalion detachment and it is going to be led by two Dominuses, which are going to be equipped exactly the same. They both have a Eradication Ray and Macro Stubbers, and of course they have their built-in Omnisci Axes, uh, but one of them is going to be my Warlord. And the Warlord has the Warlord trait Necromechanic, and will be carrying the Relic Asian's Pseudodendrites for a little bit extra melee support. And I do believe I'm going to have my Lady Dominus be my Warlord this time around. From there, I'm going to move on to my troop choices. I have two groups of Skatari Rangers 
and they're both six-man squads. The only difference is one squad has an arc rifle, the other squad does not. From there, moving on to a group of three cataphraki destroyers. Each one is going to be equipped with a heavy grav cannon and a uh, phosphor blaster. Pretty decent fire support. And wrapping up my battalion detachment with two heavy supports. Both are going to be dune crawlers and they're going to be armed with Icarus arrays, Cognus heavy stubbers, and broad spectrum data tethers. For some reason that's hard for me to say. <laughs> Moving on to my second detachment, which is a super heavy auxiliary detachment, which is a knight errant with his thermal cannon, uh, regular heavy stubber, which is for some reason two more points than a Cognus one, a iron storm missile launcher, and his reaper chain sword. He should be pretty good. And that is, makes up 1,000 points on the nose of Adeptus Mechanicus. Okay, folks, here we are deployed for the Eternal War mission, the Four Pillars, uh, from the Chapter Approved 2019. I do believe this is one that existed previously, but got a little bit reworked for this edition, more update. The way it works, there are four objective markers, more towards the middle of the board, but they're just in range of the deployment zone, so you can secure them pretty early on. And the way this works, um, if you, at the end of your turn, you control more than your opponent, you get one victory point. If at any point in time, at the end of your turn, you control all four, you'll score three victory points instead. However, only uh, models with the troop roll can secure any objectives, which is kind of funny because uh, both of us only have three troops and there's four yeah. objectives. <laughs> so we can never get the uh, hold all four of one. Nope. Uh, well, that's why you get you randomly generate stuff. Absolutely. Uh, in addition to that, there is no prisoners at the end of any battle round where you killed more from your opponent's army than your opponent killed from yours during the entirety of the battle round. You score one victory point. There's Slay the Warlord. There's First Strike. There's Line Breaker. Mike won the roll-off for choosing attacker or defender. He chose attacker. I chose uh, hammer and anvil and this side to deploy on. Mike put his... Sorcerer and Terminator armor and Deep Strike, then spent one command point on Webway Infiltration to put his one group of rubrics with the Zinch's Firestorm. Yes. Into Deep Strike as well. And the Rhino is carrying his squad of Zangors, and the Land Raider has the other rubric squad and his Exalted Sorcerer. Correct. And then the Demon is just kind of hanging out. Yep. With that being done, we're going to go on. I take it you want to have turn one. I, I kind of like it, so... Uh, All right, on a six up, I will seize the initiative. I got a five. Close. But, nope. So we go on to Thousand Suns, turn one. Whee! All right, at the start of battle round turn one, the uh, Adeptus Mechanicus has to roll for their canticle. Rolling one dice. And getting a five. Invocation of Machine Might. All my guys have plus one strength until the end of the battle round. Fair enough. Uh, in addition to that, I forgot to mention in my army list what my Forge World is. We are Greer 8, which is basically, if you're outside of 12 inches from my models, you have minus one to hit in ranged. Fair enough. All right, so movement for turn one, Thousand Suns. Had my Land Raider just move forward, getting ready to fire some shots in. Had my Demon oh. Prince of Zinch move and advance forward, getting there. He could have gone farther, but... It wasn't where I wanted him to be. Uh, so that was my next best idea. Next up, the Rhino moved and advanced forward from here, getting over to that building, getting that nice half cover for anything that uh, Tom is going to shoot out at me. Hopefully, anyway, depending on how he moves. Uh, outside of movement onto Psychic Phase, I'm going to be casting two powers from the Demon Prince, uh, one of which is going to be, I think I'll actually start with a smite. Uh, and closest models is going to be this group of uh, Skitari right there. Okay. You're definitely within 24. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So it's going to be warp charge of 5. 11 would be nice. Got close enough. It's going to be a D3. Yep. And you don't have anything that denies. Not a thing. For two. Two. Okay. Uh, and then his second psychic power is going to be warp time. 
And that, I believe, is a warp charge of six. Or seven, could be. It's not a five. It's not a five. And, uh... How many do I have? I have five command points. You have five left. Is it actually worth it? Getting a, an extra little bit of cover bonus. Uh, no, he's got an invul. Um, I'm not worried about it too much. Okay. So I will uh, then move on to shooting. All right, so uh, at the shooting phase, declaring targets, and this is going to be the only thing that's shooting because moved in advanced, doesn't have a gun. Um, so this is the only thing that's going to be shooting, and it's going to be firing probably most of its weapons at this group of Skitari, the bolt gun part of the uh, combi Melta, and the heavy bolter shots are all going into the Skitari, and the twin LAS guns are going into or Laz Cannon is going to go into the Destroyers. Okay. So starting off with the Laz Cannons, two shots hitting on fours because Tom is currently hard to hit. Both hit. Both hit. All right, and this is going to be wounding on threes. Uh, one wound, one failed to wound. All right, six up save or six up in vol. Either one. That's a one. All right. My D, what, six, six damage? D6 damage for four. four. How many wounds does one of these have? Three, which would be enough to finish him off. And it's from one source that doesn't spell over. Yep. All right. Next up in shooting is going to be the twin heavy um, bolter going into the Skatari. Six shots hitting on fours. For Did. four. Yeah. So far, my uh, minus one to hit hasn't mattered. No. I'd rather roll the four higher or roll one. <laughs> exactly. And this should be wounding on strength, what, six? Fives. Fives. So it'll be threes to wound. All right. And it'll be threes to wound for these. All being wound. all wound. Four up save. Okay. Well, that's the unit. Okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's some... Terrible rolling. I'm gonna actually command point one of these just so. Yeah. Four up. Nope, two and two. Okay. Now that's a uh, first strike for you, by the way. Yep. All right, and as that unit's gone, I have, I'm have i out of targets to shoot at, so that's gonna be the end of my shooting phase and my turn. Uh, so on to Tom's turn one. Uh, with that, I do get first strike. Yep. Uh, and hopefully I also get the other one where I've killed more things than you. Well, I only kill one unit, so. No, I meant models. It's units. Oh, it's units. Yeah. Oh, never you mind. You kill more units. Oh, then you're gonna focus fire or something, and I'm I'm sad. <laughs> okay, folks. Turn one movement for the Adeptus Mechanicus. Rearrange some stuff over here, moving the knight so he has a clean line of shot at the rhino over there. Moved my warlord over a bit so she's buffing these guys over there. Shifted both dune crawlers. They've got actually a pretty decent move. So I can get clean lines of shots onto the demon prince there. And pulled back a little bit with the two remaining cataphracts uh, destroyers. They're still in range to get some shots out, but they're a little extra protection. Yeah. So that one's going to be it for my movement. Uh, I'm going to go into the shooting phase where I'm going to start off with, I think, the knight firing all his shots down into the rhino here, trying to knock it out of the fight. Fair enough. Starting off with the knight's thermal cannon. That's going to be D6 number of shots going down into that rhino. For four. That's respectable. Yeah. The knight ignores the penalty for moving and firing heavy weapons because, you know, titanic unit. And he's looking for threes to hit. All but one. All right, strength nine weapon, looking for threes to wound. I am going to command point one of those. Okay, so two wound. Uh, AP minus four, and you do not have cover because I mean, move so I can see 75%. Yep. And that'll go right through my armor. Alright, and with no save, I'll go straight on to the D6 damage for each. Total of six. Woo! It lives. Okay. I have uh, up next is going to be the Iron Storm missile launcher on it. 
All right. D6 number of shots for that. One. No, that's not good. Uh, looking for a three to hit. One. Nope. All right. And then a heavy stubber. Three shots. Looking for those threes to hit. Nope. For two of them. And a five to wound. Nope. All right. That was kind of lackluster. All right. Up next, I'm going to do one of the Dune Crawlers at a time, shooting at everything they can into the Demon Prince. So next up, like I said, is going to be the Dune Crawlers one at a time, starting with the more detailed one, because it has less things in line of sight. Uh, starting off with its Icarus Array, uh, its Dat Missile going to the Demon Prince, looking for a two to hit. You're rolling ones. Successfully hits. Strength seven, so a three to wound. Successfully wounds. EP doesn't matter, because it's going to be your four up in ball. Yeah. And four up in ball. Away. We made it. Auto cannons, once again hitting on twos. All hit. Strength seven, still still wounding on threes. Two. Uh, AP minus one, so a four up save or a four up interval. Yep. All right. Two four ups. No. Failed both. That's two damage each. All right. Gatling rockets, looking for those two to hit. We're rolling ones because the nearby Dominus. All hit. Strength six, which I think you are also T6 on that. T6 on a demon prince, so fours to wound. One. One. Uh, EP minus two, so you're four up in ball. Four up. What'd you make? Yay. Three shots with the Cognus Heavy Stubber. Looking for threes to hit because you don't have that. This one doesn't worry about fly bonus. All hit. Looking for fives to wound. Nothing. All right. Second Dune Crawler, just as the first, because I need to kill at least one thing. Yep. Looking for a two to hit with its Dat Missile. Successfully hit. Wounding on a three. Successfully wounded. Your four up in four. Four up. No. I'll spend a command point, because I'm pretty sure this does more than... D6. Yeah, I'll spend a command point. Made, Made it. it. Right. It brings you down to four. Absolutely. Like that one, that one I'll do. Auto cannons. Auto cannons up next, hitting on twos. They're rolling ones because of the Dominus nearby. All hit. Look for threes to wound. Three wounds. AP minus one, so an either four of armor or a four of invul. Four ups for glory. Field one. Oh, no. Two damage. All right. Gatlin rockets. All hit. Wounding on fours. One wound once again. I'm actually rolling kind of meh for my wounds. Yeah. You're four up involve. Four up involve. Two. Goes through. Take one. Oh no. Three ups for the storm bolter. Not the storm bolter. Heavy stuff. Cognizant variety. We're rolling ones. All hit. Fives to wound. Two wounds. No AP, so you're three up armor. All right. So two, three. Ups. Did you make both? Made both. Okay, uh, I do kind of need to guarantee a kill, so let's see what else can is in range. Okay, up next, the Dominus in the back is going to fire. He's, gonna, he's got an eradication array. Not array, just array. Uh, his D3 number of shots for that. Going into the Demon Prince. For one. Uh, hitting on a three, rerolling ones. Successfully hit. And that is strength six, so I need a four to loot. I don't want to. All right. Uh, Anything else? Can they shoot through the building? They, yeah, they have line of sight. Too. Okay. Okay, relatively last to go. I might have one more unit that's in line of sight of some stuff, but my destroyers are going to go ahead and fire. They're firing at the Demon Prince because the Demon Prince is still the closest. Uh, they ignore the penalty of moving and firing their heavy weapons. Both their grabs are in range, and one of the two Phosphor Blasters in range. So let's start off with the grab, you know, the grab cannons. Looking for force to hit re-rolling ones because they're nearby Dominus. That's because they're only base ballistic four and no ones, but I think that is, yep, that is perfectly statistical. Hmm. I needed slightly above. <laughs> because this is only strength five in your T6, I need fives to wound. Uh, Got two. two. Yeah, EP minus, I think, three for a grab. Uh, yeah, EP minus three. Four up and vol. Fail no. both, and they do one damage. Actually, you have an armor of three or greater. They do D3 each. 
Okay. Well, either way, he's got one wound left. Yeah, he's, he's dead either way, and you can't command point reroll. Nope. So, yay, first blood for me, first strike for me. Yep, and you do get it. Uh, however, he does come back immediately from his uh, his relic yes. going off. Uh, and uh, he'll be coming back with at, D3 wounds. Yes. Technically at the end of the phase, so I can't shoot him anymore. Fair enough, but he does have three. Yes, which is good for you. This is very good for me, so... Just figured I'd get that out of the way now as opposed to later and forgetting it like I do. Okay, last thing to go in my turn is going to be this group of Scaratory Rangers. They're going to fire all their shots down into the Rhino there because they really can't see anything else that is in range. And since the Demon Prince is dead, they can't shoot at him. Yes. So He's totally dead. Yeah. Uh, starting off with the five shots from their Galvanic Rifles. Hitting on threes, we're rolling ones because of the nearby Dominus. Four hits. Looking for fives to wound because only strength four on these weapons. So, two wounds, one with EP zero and one with EP minus one. All right. So I'll do the EP minus one first. It makes it four up save. Which should be a four up save. No. Uh, and then I'll do the other one, which is a three up. No. No. Hey, take two. I will take two. And last to go is the arc rifle in the squad. One shot because he's not in rapid fire range. Hitting on a three, reroll ones. Successfully hits. Strength six, so I'm looking for a five to win. I do. Oh. All right, so that's going to be another four up from me. No. Um, okay. D3 damage because you are a vehicle. One. <sighs> Okay. And I'm out of command points. I, well, not out. I can't re-roll it. All right. So it, it does still... It takes three in total on top of what it had. So yep. If I had rolled a three there... It's at nine. And that, that is the end of your turn. I have nothing else to shoot, and I'm definitely not within charge range. I do score one victory point for holding more objectives than Mike, because I hold one to his zero. That is and correct. He doesn't have any morales to make, because... I didn't shoot any infantry units, basically. Nope. All right, so that's uh, the end of turn one. On to my turn two. Correct. Okay, uh, going into the canicles, I am not going to bother to roll. I'm choosing Shroud Song, because you're about to deep strike in, and... Oh. Might as well have the plus one to my save. All right, well, fair enough. All right, so at the start of uh, my turn, turn two, I get to roll a d6 to see if that gets a wound back on a six. It doesn't. Yeah, the opposite. Le gasp. <laughs> All right, so movement phase for a Thousand Suns, turn two. A lot of stuff happened this turn. We'll start with the less effective side. So with as much damage as the Rhino has at the moment, uh, it's got a total movement of three inches, which isn't getting it much anywhere, so I'm just going to leave it there for its bolter discipline later uh, to maybe throw some shots over there at glorious, glorious six-ups. <laughs> uh, the Zangors uh, disembarked, um, originally planning to go and kind of siege that point over there, but uh, didn't get their advance good enough, so or they wouldn't have made it well enough to make a charge. So the, they just piled into this building, and uh, I'm securing this point so Tom doesn't get any more uh, cheeky one-point um, victory points. Yep, unless I deal with them. Yeah, unless you deal with them, which is rather easy considering the, the Titan over there. Um, so with over here, a bunch of stuff happened. Both these groups, uh, the Rubrics and the Exalted Sorcerer, disembarked from the Land Raider. Land Raider. Uh, the Land Raider then moved over and forward. Uh, the Demon Prince of Zinch uh, moved forward and advanced, getting a 16-inch move up to there. And then here is where I'm dropping in my uh, Deep Strike units, ready to maybe throw some shots and charge uh, for over here. Uh, outside of that, on to Psychic Phase. All right, so starting off the psychic phase is going to be this group right here, casting Temporal Manipulation on my poorly battered and resurrected Demon Prince. So I believe it's going to be a warp charge of six for that one, 
And here we go. You got five. I got a five and a one. One. I, it's, it's enough. Oh, well, if you had a five, you got it anyway on one dice. True. So D3 back. Yep, D3 back for him. Four, two. He's only missing three wounds then, so. That's, that's not nearly as bad as it was. Considering he only has eight, he's back above half. Yep. All right, so with that done, next, uh, that's it for their psychic powers. So I'm going to move on to his and go for maybe a ballsy move and throw a Treason of Zinch as his first power over that way, so it's going to be with a plus two to cast. Yeah. Now, Treason of Zinch is going to be a warp charge of eight to cast, of which a... Five show is not enough. A five show is not enough. Uh, that would equal a total of seven. Uh, one higher. Ugh. Do I dare... You have four command points left. You have probably three to four other things you want to cast this turn. Yeah. All right, so I've decided not to re-roll anything from uh, Treason of Zinch. I am instead just going to keep in continuing on with my uh, psychic powers. Where I'm going to go with next, instead of Boon of Mutation, I'm going to cast Smite over at closest unit, being the Destroyers. Yep. So Smite, we all know how Smite works. Uh, gets it, is not the... Super fancy version. D3! D3. For two. Two. Mm, still alive. Uh, then I think I'm going to go over back to over to here with Weaver of Fates being next, and that's going to be going over on to the Demon Prince. Yeah. It's either a six or a seven. Yep. Which... Um, you got at least a six. I got, yeah, I got a ten. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so he now has an invol save of a three up. Glory to him. And then I'm going to throw a prescience also on him. So he'll be a... He's already hitting on twos. Never mind. Prescient's going to go over to the uh, the group right here. Okay. Actually, screw that noise. Prescience on the tank. All right. Prescience on the tank. So this is going to be a warp charge of, I think, a six or a seven. I'm sure it's a seven. It doesn't matter. You rolled an I, 11. I rolled an 11. So Prescience goes off on him. Uh, and then the last thing to go is going to be the Zinch's Firestorm from that group. All right. So uh, with the next psychic power being... Zinch's Firestorm going in. I'm going to pick the... Let's go with this one as the target. Now this is going to be Warp Charge of 7 to cast. And I perils. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm just, just going to spend the one command point to not perils. Fair enough. And keep the number. Fair enough. Because that's a new stratagem within the new uh, faction book. Uh, so that goes off. All right, and so what Zetu's Firestorm does is I roll nine dice. For every six, uh, the target takes a mortal wound. Sometimes it does a bunch. Sometimes it does nothing. This time it did two, which is good enough. All right, and lastly in the psychic phase is going to be the Demon Prince of Zinch. I'm going to first cast Warp Time with him, get him going across the board, and... Yeah. That is absolutely enough to cast it. I'm going to advance with him. One inch. Doesn't it, it doesn't matter. You it's got 15 inch movement then. 13. 13. 13. Sorry. And after that 13 inch move, here's where he landed. Just getting absolutely ready to run in with that charge and do some combat. If he doesn't die in Overwatch. Uh, but either way, his next and last psychic power is going to be. Uh, demonic Strength, which I think is a warp charge of six and or seven. You got a seven. So got a seven, so that's enough. So he's got, uh, I think, plus two strength, two strength plus one attack. Yep. Uh, and with that out of the way, on to shooting. All right, so starting off the shooting phase with something probably lackluster is going to be the Rhino firing its um, combi bolt gun or combi melta 
Yes? Yes. Uh, into that group there, but with just the bolt gun part. Because uh, it did not move this turn, it's going to be able to fire both shots. So two shots going in, hitting on sixes, because everything's hard to hit, and because of how damaged it is, it's hitting normally on fives. Nothing, as expected. Moving on. All right, so next up in shooting is going to be the Land Raider firing, uh, splitting up shots. It's going to fire all of its LAS cannon shots into this Dune Crawler. It's four heavy bolt gun, or sorry, six heavy bolt gun shots into those two destroyers. And it's going to just kind of, kind of throw one round of uh, combi bolt gun that way. So starting with the LAS guns, LAS cannons, four shots this time, as I actually remembered, it's two twin LAS gun cannons. Uh, so four shots hitting on threes because our plus one, negative one cancels out. Three hits. Three hits. All right, so after checking, I am within six inches of the Exalted Sorcerer, and his rule is not limited to just infantry, so I do get to reroll this one into all four hit. Okay. Uh, wounding on strength nine versus tough. Uh, I think I'm six or seven. It's gonna be threes. Yep, wounding on threes. For three. Mm -hmm. um, AP minus a bunch. Yeah, it's uh, three for a lot of cannon. Okay, uh, with AP minus three, I'm in cover because of my cancel that's currently in play. I would have effectively a five up save, but I also have a five up invul built in. And because there's a friendly Forge World uh, Dune Crawler near him, and he once rolled on a 5-up invul save, I can re-roll. So I'm going to take the invul instead. Fair enough. Okay. I saved two of them. All right. Almost mattered. So 1d6. Or three. Or three. Yeah. Uh, then the six shots from the uh, Heavy Bolter going into... Those two hitting on threes for re-rolling ones, re-rolling ones, yay. Boy, I wish sixes did something. Uh, and then wounding on uh, fours, T5 versus strength five. Yep, wounding on fours for, looks like three. Four. It's fours. Oh, two fours, a six, and a four. Okay, I think, correct. Fours. Four of saves. All right, the closest one goes down, the other one takes one. All right. All right, so last thing for the Land Raider, his one single shot from a bolt gun going over into the Skatari over there. One shot hitting on a three. Yep. Missed. All right, moving on. Uh, next up is going to be this group here. It would have been this group, but because of the... Uh, dead destroyer, they no longer actually have a target, so I should have fired with them first. Oh well. So, uh, moving on to this group of rubrics, they're going to be firing everything they have into him right there. Not splitting up the shots, everything in that group is going to be firing at the destroyer, but seeing as how the aspiring sorcerer is the only one within 12 inches, it actually gets to fire its pistol and at a better ballistic than everyone else. So I'll be starting with the uh, rest of the Rubrics Group's bolt guns, infernal bolt guns. Four shots hitting on fours. They're not within, I don't think the uh, Terminator, Terminator has any kind of buff bonus. So two misses, two hits. I'm uh, T5. So wounding on fives. You're, it's a bolt gun. Ah, fair enough. All right, so wounding on fives. For one. Uh, AP minus two, but I'm in cover, so effectively AP minus one, one five up save. Fail. I'm down to one wound. All right. And then lastly is the one shot from the Infernal Bolt Pistol, Aspiring Sorcerer, hitting on a three. Hits. Hits. Wounding on a five. Fails. Oh. Oh well. Uh, and then I think lastly is going to be the Terminator. All right, and last to go, I believe, in the shooting phase is going to be my Sorcerer in Terminator armor. He's going to fire his four shots from his Infernal Combi Bolter into the last Destroyer. 
uh, hopefully getting rid of it to provide an easier charge for my demon prince into Tom's character over here. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. So four shots hitting on threes. I think he's actually within 12 inches. I did not measure though. All right, after double checking measurement, I am within 12 inches, so these are all gonna be hitting on threes. For all but one. And then wounding on fives. Wounding on fives. For two. two. This is probably the end of it, because it's I'm gonna have a five up save. Yep. All right, five up save. Made one failed one, and he only had one wound left. Yep, so he is the dead. Goodbye, destroy up. Uh, and then that's gonna be it for shooting phase. Everything that can shoot has shot. Uh, and onto charges to declare, where I think I'm gonna have the demon prince go and charge, do a multi-charge into uh, the dune crawler and your character. Okay, all right. So firing overwatch, starting off with the stuff from the dune crawler. Firing the stuff from the Icarus Array, which does give me plus one to hit, because you have the fly keyword. That is correct. Uh, starting off with a DAT missile, looking for a five or a six. Does that actually affect the um, uh, It says uh, whenever shooting something with the fly keyword, either add one or minus one. Fair enough. In that case, this may have been a terrible mistake you rolled a six anyway. Okay. It hit uh, wounding on a three. It wounded. You're three up in vol. Yep, three up in vol. You made it. Made it. Uh, auto cannons, hitting on sixes and fives, but only one six, moving on a three. Failed to wound, I'm spending a command point. Succeeded to wound. Three up invul. Failed. Take no, damn it. Uh, Gatlin rockets. Two. Uh, wounding on uh, fours. Both. Uh, AP doesn't matter because yep. three up in Two, three up in balls. Made both. The um, heavy stubber. Both hit with sixes. And wounding on fives. One wound. Two, three up save. One, three up. Failed. No. Two. All right. It's a total of three damage you take. Yep. The. Uh, Dominus himself firing his eradication array. D3 number of shots for three. Hitting on sixes for one. Wounding on a four. Wounds. Three up save. Three up save. Made it. All right. She had failed that one, girl. Oh, that was close. All right, so, so rolling my charge in if you're done shooting. Yep, that's it. All right, rolling my charge in, seeing if I make it. Total eliminate. Total eliminate, absolutely. That should get you pretty in there. All right, so here he is after the charge, uh, just all up in their business. And now to go over all the different bonuses. So from... Uh, hateful Assault. Hateful Assault, he gets one extra attack. From having Malefic Talons, he gets three extra attacks. So that's going to be a total of eight. Mm-hmm. Um, with Diabolic Strength, that's one more, so totaling nine attacks. His strength total is currently nine, uh, so he's all zinched out with that number. Yep. Uh, bring the luck. So he's going to be putting five attacks into the Dune Crawler and four attacks into the... Uh, the Data Smith? Dominus. Dominus. So starting with the five attacks going into the Dune Crawler, hitting on twos. All hit. All hit. And then this is going to be wounding on threes for just the one failed wound. Wounding on threes, so you failed twice. Wounding on threes, so I failed twice, sorry. And I was just trying to think of what rerolls he had, but that's only for himself in the hit phase. Yes. Or hit, you know what I meant. Correct. All right, five up in vol, but I get to reroll once because there's another uh, doing call. Failed both. Yeah. It does two, two damage, damage a pop. Uh, I think I owe you one more. Yeah. Because okay. I missed twice. I owe you one more. Yep. All right, so it's, it's six dead. damage. Yep. Uh, uh, does it explode? Command, I spent a command weight to make it auto explode and do max damage. Take uh, three more wounds. 
should have attacked the other guy first. <laughs> oh. Um, that is does the, that actually kill your Dominus as well? No. He's got five. Oh. <laughs> uh, how much damage is that? D3. Oh, all right. Yeah, that is like the Rage of the Machine or something like that. Oh, poopy. Machine Spirit Revenge automatically explodes and rolls. Does max. Um, now, making sure, do I actually get to finish my attacks in my phase... Before he actually dies from that. Technically, yes. Ha ha! Because it all happens at the same time. Yes! I would have absolutely taken him off the board. <laughs> I would have gotten yelled at in the comments. All right. Um, but I do kill him, so... Oh, he's dead. He's absolutely dead. I'm just hoping to take out your Dominus with him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so four attacks going into the Dominus, even though he is already at death's door... Four hits, or yeah, four attacks hitting on twos. All hit. All hit. Uh, wounding on twos. Missed one. Four up save. Made them all. Uh, all right, well, didn't matter. Woo! He did. And he did. Yep. Uh, worthy sacrifice, my friend. Oh, merde. It's like, hmm. Should have attacked the other guy first. You yeah, survived it anyway. I did anyway, but maybe it would have had better rolls, or you would have had worse rolls. We don't know. All right. Um, he took three from the thing. Explosion. And the other one takes three. Yep. That's okay. He can uh, kill himself. Repair D3, D3 and repair the other thing D3 as well. Oh. Well, so it didn't matter. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. All right, well, that was a pretty good decision. Uh, with that, that's my turn done, actually. So, moving on to Tom's turn two. Uh, movement for my turn is pretty straightforward. Uh, now that that nice explosion crater happened over there, Moved his eight inches this way. Advance the uh, dominance to stay with. At the end of the turn, they're going to repair both D3s because he self-repairs D3 and then he can repair the vehicle for D3. Stay put with my rangers right here. They're kind of good, safe in their area. Move my 12 inches with my knight moving up, getting within 18 of that. Just outside of being able to make this charge comfortably. It, it's basically impossible because of the terrain and whatnot. Yeah. Move my warlord to keep up, providing her ability to repair. Uh, plus her own unique stuff if she ever gets into a fight. Uh, with that being done, that's it. Moving on to the shooting phase. Well, before I do that, I have to do the two repairs. Repairs himself D3 for three. Oh. Repairs the vehicle for D3 for three. Oh, this didn't even matter. He did kill one of them. Yeah. And you had a chance to kill the Dominus. I did. I made my saves. Uh, with that being done, uh, to the actual shooting parts, let's start off with this, which I'm going to spend a total of three command points. One, or uh, two for Gloria Mechanicus to change my um, chant to the rerolling ones to hit. All right. And then Knight of the Cog, he is within 12 inches of a character, so now he gets the benefit of my chant, so he rerolls ones to hit. Hmm. So he's gonna go ahead and shoot, and he's going to fire his big cannon into that, his um, Iron Storm missiles into that, and then the heavy stuff are up there. Oh, no, not Mazangors. With her glorious leadership of, I think, eight. So. Oh, yeah, something like that. All right. So, starting off with the big thermal cannon, D6 number of shots for four, respectable. Looking for threes to hit and re-rolling ones. Re-rolling them once. Three successful hits. Uh, strength nine, so threes to wound. Spending command point. Two wounds. EP minus four, so you have six up saves. Yep. Two six up saves. No. So that brings me down to one command point. Uh, you are within 18 inches, which is half range for my gun, 
So I rolled 2d6, take the highest for each one of these damage. Ooh. Six. Four. So a total of ten. Ow. That's an ow. Uh, Iron Storm Missile, D6 number of shots for three. Hitting on three. Two hits. Uh, I'm going to be wounding on fives. One wound. Now I need to check the actual AP. With that AP minus one, it's going to be one three up save. Failed. Oh no. Take two. I will. I have four wounds left. Cool. Heavy stubber going into those Zangors. Got it. Hitting on threes, rolling on ones. Two hits. Wounding on fours, because strength four versus tough four. No damage. Okay. All right. Uh, and then my very last command point is going to go into my uh, Dune Crawler here for the Imperative Doctrine. I do believe his name of it. Uh, it adds one to the uh, to hit in the shooting. Unless it has the broad spectrum data tether, in which case it adds two. Ah. Uh. And he's going to go ahead and follow his bigger, angrier brother and shoot the Land Raider. Fair enough. So let us start off with Dat Missile hitting on a two. It would be hitting on a four because you don't have the fly keyword, but... We're rolling once because the nearby Dominus. Hit. I only strength seven, so I need a five to wound. Failed to wound. This is the... The downside only being strength seven. Looking for twos to hit with the auto cannon part next. I'll hit. I'd like to see that roll again. <laughs> uh, Almost. I, I got one of them. AP minus one for the auto cannon. All right. Uh, so three ups. I did it. And Gatling rockets. Two more twos. We're rolling once. I'll hit. Wounding on fives. Two with AP minus two. Two four ups. Failed both. One yep. damage per. Two uh, two wounds left. And then the uh, Cognus Heavy Stubber. Hit it on twos. All hit. Wounding on sixes because there's T8. One wound. No AP. One two up. Made, Made it. it. Right. He yet lives for now. Will are going to shoot next. She did not advance. She just moved. She's going to fire her eradication ray into that. All righty then. D6 number of shots. Not D6. D3 number of shots. For three. Hitting on threes because she didn't move. But re-rolling once. One hit, one miss. One re-roll. Two hits. Fives to wound. One wound. EP minus three. Oof. One, five up. Fail. No, it's probably him. Uh, I do believe it is D3 damage. I could be a live. I'll live. I'll, I'll, I'll. I can speak. Uh, no, only one. You're not with an eight. Oh, good. He yet lives. With one wound. Um, Owie. I was going to try to have this group finish that, but if I can finish that off, that's a lot of threat off the board. Yeah. And the fact that you can restore wounds to it, admittedly only D3 at a time because it can't it can't cast. No. Uh, yeah, might as well. Because if I can kill that, that'll be us tied for kills. So you won't get that victory point. You could also just kill the rhino. I could, but that is way more of a threat. No, nah, it's totally the rhino. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, this is gonna this unit is gonna go ahead and fire, shooting down at that. Um, it's gonna be hitting on threes, starting off with the galvanic rifles, firing everything, looking for threes to hit, rerolling one to nearby Dominus, nearby Dominus. Can I see this exact roll again? <laughs> uh, strength four, so I'm looking for sixes to win. I got two with AP minus one. Two three ups. Made both. Made both. One shot from the arc rifle from the unit. Looking for a three to hit. Successfully hit. Uh, looking for a five to wound. Fail. No rerolls left. All right. Uh, it lives. That's it for shooting. I only destroyed one thing. Uh, not even during my turn. Uh, so you're going to get one victory point from that. And we both hold one. Yep. 
So one point to me, that I believe that makes us tied at two yes, points. two points each. So on to my turn, turn three then. All right, mechanical for turn three. I uh, have to random generate because I'm out of command points. Six. That's uh, not important. I think that's a melee thing. Yeah. All right, so movement for turn three. Thousand Suns. Uh, let's go with didn't move. Didn't move. Moved three inches, as that's now its total movement, closer to the, uh, the knight. Uh, just kind of shifted this group forward towards... Um, side of the board, uh, making sure that I'm outside of the Land Raiders explode range. Mm -hmm. uh, shifted this group forward, uh, getting ready to put like just a few shots, maybe some smites over there. Uh, that's it for movement. Uh, so on to Psychic, where I'm going to start with a uh, Temporal Manipulation, going into the Land Raider, because why not? Wolf charge of six. A five does not get it. You can command point reroll. Uh, you change the one into a two. It, it, I don't. I don't exactly see a benefit of that. I mean, it could maybe soak up other shots. So, screw it. I've got three command points. I'm spending one. I don't know where that went. It's a five now. All right. So I got it with a nine. D three wounds back. For two. Okay. Bring it up to three. Uh, then with that group done, we move on to him. He's going to cast Prescience on said tank. Right. Just get it, give it a, a good last hurrah. So Prescience, Warp Charge of six. I see a one. I see a <laughs> Was a waste. Such a waste. Dancing with a steady cam. All right. Um, so Prescience didn't make it onto, uh, was it Glam? Not Glamour. Weaver of Fates. Weaver of Fates. Get that five up invo on something that doesn't have it or add one to something that already has it. It's, it now feels like an absolute waste to give it to that. Uh, but it might survive and soak more shots still, so why not? Got a five. Got a five. Firestorm from this group going into the uh, the walker. Warp charge of seven. Got it. I, I got it. Nine. So, Zinch's Firestorm rolls nine dice, and for every six, it's a mortal wound. No. Or, not a one. Not a single one. Oh well. In both regards. Uh, correct. All right, so next, and I think lastly, uh, is going to be my Sorcerer and Terminator armor, who is going to be casting first off as his first power, uh, Traitor of Zinch, on that guy right there. It's going to be a warp charge of eight. He gets a plus two on this. Six or higher. Got it with a seven. Sweet. You roll higher than my leadership of nine. You got an eight. <clears throat> All right. Uh, and then he's just going to throw a smite. Fair enough. Screw Boon of Mutation. I haven't cast it once. No, it, it, Boon of Mutation isn't something you should put on someone who arrives after turn one. Yeah, I should have given it to the uh, Aspiring. Because the kind of goal of Boon Or not the Aspiring, the Exalted. Yeah, it's you're buffering someone who can be useful later, or you're hoping for a Demon Prince. True. Um, well, actually, I could hope for a Demon Prince now, which would be great. Fair enough, if you want to go for it. Um, because I'm not going to do enough to kill something with a smite. Yes, and I'd also like to point out the fact that you cannot re-roll for this phase, so if you roll double ones with the boon, it's spawn instead. Oh, true. Mm. Which is exactly the same chance as getting a Demon Prince. Mm. <laughs> uh, smite. <laughs> Failed. No, he's got plus one. He's got built-in plus he's one. He's got a built-in plus one. Plus I do get it. Yeah. Uh, it's D3? It's D3. D3. For one. Oh, my God. 
Excellent. Merde! <laughs> what a waste. You're just gonna heal that on your turn. You don't even have to roll for that. You get D3 back, so it's whatever extra damage you can put on that. If you can get it above four. Ugh. Or up to four above. God, that's awful. All right, on to shooting. All right, so starting off the shooting phase with actually combined shots with the Rubric Marines and the uh, Sorcerer and Terminator armor. I'm just going to group them together because they all have essentially the same profile firing at Tom's um, Doom, Crawler. Doom Crawler. So it's going to be a total of six Infernal Bolt Gun rounds hitting on fours. Uh, he doesn't have re-rolls. He doesn't have re-rolls, two hits, and then wounding on, I think, fives. Nope. Nothing. Glorious. Yes. Clank, 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 walking machine. Clang, cling, clang, clang. Um, I have no shots from this group over here, so I think literally the only thing... Oh, no, I've got one Melta from him. All right, so firing the Melta gun at the knight with the rhino... Uh, it's going to be one shot. I'm not also firing the bolt gun, so uh, this is going to be hitting on a five. Hit. Hits. And it's going to be wounding on, I believe, the same. No, uh, wounding on a four. No. Well, a two doesn't make it. Yeah, no, it was strength eight. Yes, four is correct. Uh, so with the rhino done, uh, now for Land this Raider. guy, Land Raider, uh, how many wounds does the knight have? Uh, 20 and change. Oh, okay. Um, 24. 24. Yeah. 10. <laughs> Left. All right. Um, I'm going to be... Hitting on a 5, hitting on a 6. Because minus 1, because that's from my Forge world. Mm. Oof. All right. Both have a five up interval. And both can be healed. Yes. Uh, might as well just go into that one. Yeah, why not? All right, so firing. Yeah, screw it. It'll go with everything that it can uh, into the night. So starting with the four shots from the Laz cannons hitting on uh, fives. One. One. Uh, and I did, in fact, move him out of range yeah, of the re-rolling six. one. Why did you move that one farther away? I didn't. It's exactly where it landed. Oh, fair enough. Uh, and then wounding on a... Three. It's strength nine last cannons. Fair enough. Wounding on a three. Wounded. Wounds. Uh, AP minus three, so I think I'm using my five up interval. Let me double check. Oh, no, it's going to be a five up either way. Made it. Ah. All right, six shots from the heavy bolters, hitting on fives. Wounding on a five. Fives. No. Okay. The one bolt gun. Hit. Hit. Wounding Wound. on a six. No, okay. Let's sigh. Uh, well, that's, that's actually going to be my turn. Yeah. Nothing else can shoot, nothing else can charge. All righty then, on to uh, Tom's turn three. All right, movement for turn three for the Adeptus Mechanicus forces. My knight moved his 12 inches forward, roughly speaking, so he can keep line of sight on the Rhino and be in a decent charge range for the Land Raider. My Dominus moved up behind, staying within range to repair. Stayed put with the guys holding the objective. They're in range to get some shots in and whatever. Shifted a little bit more this way, getting ready to put some shots somewhere. I haven't quite decided where their shots are gonna go yet. Didn't have to advance them this time though. Mm, fair enough. The Knight is going to go ahead and fire first. Thermal cannon into the Rhino. Seems like a waste. Um, heavy stubber into the Zangors. And I, I'm, I'm hoping the Thermal Cannon will finish that by itself. 
because it's a D6 nonsense rolls. Oh, yeah, and it's got, like, what, two wounds left, maybe? It's got, yeah, it's got two. So I'm hoping... You know, it only has ten wounds. It's 11. Minus of 11. Oh, okay. Um, it's Iron Storm. I'm going to go ahead and fire it over into the squad of Warbricks over there. This one? Yeah. Okay. Because they're not in cover at the moment. Starting off with the thermal cannon, D6 number of shots for six. Oh, all right, yeah, he's, he's done. Hitting on threes, five hits. Strength nine, so wounding on threes. Actually only two, but you have a six up save. Yeah, Because right. you're, you're definitely 50% or more scared. Six up save. Made one. Failed one. I am in half range, so roll 2D6, take the highest. He's gone. Okay. All right, up next is going to be that Iron Storm missile system. Uh, D6 number of shots, this is going to that run rubric squad for four. Respectable. Uh, threes to hit. Three hits. Strength five, so threes to win. One. EP minus one, and it is two damage, so no all is dust. Aw. And one four up. Which you made with a six. Yay. All yeah. right. Uh, his three uh, heavy stubber shots going into the Zankors. Hitting on threes. One hit. Wounding on a four. One wound. They're, I think, just standard. They Actually, like, do they, they even have invuls? They have a six up armor and a five up invul. Five up invul. I made it. Yeah, you would have made the six up armor. I would have made the six up armor. Yeah. They always use their invul. The only reason they have an armor is in case they're denied their invul. <laughs> With that being done, that's all his shots. I'm gonna go on to this, and I'll put as many shots into that Zangor unit as possible. Ah, oh. trying to knock me off the point so you can get all the the points this turn. Yes. The Dune Crawler starting off shooting. Let's start off with the Daedalus missile, which I love to call Dat missile. <laughs> Dat missile hitting on a four against those Zangors. Successfully hits, uh, winning on a three. Successfully wounds. EP minus. Three. Five up in vol. No. Goodbye, one Zangor. It's a super dead Zangor. Uh, just for posterity's sake, he took four wounds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just the sound of feathers and death. Yeah. Actually, do they have feathers? No, they're kind of like more like goat bird things? I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, the sound of goat and death. So, four shots from the, uh, the auto cannon part of the Idris Array. Hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. All hit. Mm. Wounding on three for strength seven. One wound. There's the backlash part of it. There it is. And one four up. Five up, but yeah. Five up. I've still made it. Yeah. Gatlin rockets. Hitting on the fours. Four hits. Still wounding on threes. And once again, AP doesn't matter because we are five up in ball anyway. Yep. Three five ups. Made them all. Jesus Christ. Well, that missile so far. That <laughs> missile, though. That's the only one I got him. Uh, the Cognis Heavy Stubber hitting on threes. Two hits. Wounding on fours. One wound. Once again, EP doesn't matter. One five up. No. So the anti-tank missile and the stubber are the only ones <laughs> to do damage. Because <laughs> of the Zangor. So I got two. You did, in fact, get two. All right, I'm going to move on to this squad. There's... All right. Yeah, they probably all can see. Yeah, they, they can see. I've got some dudes up there. So yeah, this squad's gonna go ahead. And none of them are in the rapid fire range. They're gonna be hitting on threes. Uh, we're rolling ones because of the canticle. Hmm. <laughs> Three hits. Uh, wounding on fours because strength four versus tough four. 
two with EP minus one, but doesn't matter. Two five ups. <laughs> Mid <-bow. laughs> What is this? Should I? Is is this the game telling me I need the Zangors to go out and do stuff? I mean, the, so far that, that, that's an absurd amount of five and six ups. Yeah. So far, you failed two out of I think seven or eight. Oh yeah, some ridiculous. Uh, so and then the one arc rifle in the unit hitting on the three successfully hits, wounding on the three to strength six. Doesn't nope. Hit. Well, that's it for shooting. I thought, I mean, he doesn't have anything? Oh, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I got these two guys to go next. Um, I mean, they have the disintegrator beam cannons. Yeah. All right. My warlord is going to go ahead and shoot the Zangors. Oh, <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm absolutely sure about that. Uh, D3 number shots from the eradication ray for three. Hitting on threes because it didn't move that heavy. We're rolling ones because nearby self. Two hits. Wounding on threes. Both wound. AP doesn't matter. Two five ups. Hey, Aww. there you go. Two more dead. Okay, last up to go is going to be this Dominus. He's outside of range to get the Zangors, but inside range to get those Rubrics. D3 number of shots for his eradication ray. Three. Hit it on threes, we're rolling ones. All hit. Strength six, we're on threes. No wins. All right. Cool. Cool story, bro. Yeah. All right, with that being done, that's it for shooting. Charge to declare. Knight into the land raider. Fair enough. Um, Cause it won't matter and you're in half range. I'll start with the most ineffectual gun. Two shots from the bolt gun. Mm -hmm. nice. Nope. One shot from the melted gun. No. No. Four shots from the Laz cannons. One. One. Wounding on a three. Wounding on a three. No. No, God no. Uh, and then I need two more dice. Heavy bolter. No. No. How unfortunate. I am six and a half inches away. <laughs> so six inches to get within one. I got a five. I, I don't have any command point rerolls. Oh, okay, cool. Um, is that it for your turn? Yeah, that's it for my turn. Oh, okay, cool. Um, um, on to turn four? I gain one victory point because I killed one unit and you did not, and I'm at the bottom of the turn. Yep, uh, and then I need to make a morale. Oh, you definitely do. Which is just, yes, I lost okay. four... Out of leadership, I think seven. If I got a four or above, more flee. Yeah. Sounds about right to me. More will flee. More will flee. So after the morale, I only have these three left. And just for reference, the one with the horn is the twist bray. So on to my turn, turn four. Uh, turn four, rolling for mechanical. Two. Uh, Litany of the Electromancer literally does nothing. All right. So, movement phase for turn four, Thousand Suns. I did a little bit of a shifting for the Zangors in that building, just so they have a, a harder kind of line of sight for uh, Tom's army to shoot at them. Yes. So hopefully those three will stay and remain. If not, I cry. Um... Did not move with the Land Raider. It's just going to kind of sit there, maybe regen three wounds, or D3 wounds, and then just shoot that for as much as it's worth. Uh, didn't move this group at all. They're just, they're already in line of shot, or line of effect. They can see. They can see. And they can shoot. Range. Yeah, I can speak. <laughs> uh, and they, they're in cover, so they don't need to go and do anything. Uh, this group moved forward, just a little bit of a wobbly model with those two. They're taking a nap uh, over here, so they'll, they will be able to shoot at the, um, the thing. The dune crawler. The dune crawler. I've lost <laughs> names and things. All right, well, with movement out of the way, on to psychic phase, where I'm going to start with the um, temp uh, temporal manipulation over here, throwing it at the... Land Raider. Okay. So, warp charge of, I believe you said seven last time. 
A four doesn't get it. <laughs> it's like, uh, do I need to look this up? What did he roll? I don't need to look this up. I mean, if you rolled a six, I have to look it up. <laughs> That's basically all it is. <laughs> all right, so unfortunately, no, no wounds back from them. Uh, I'm going to have uh, Prescience be cast on the Land Raider. That one's a seven. Got it with an 11. Got it with an 11. Wish that was a smite. You're behaving fools. Uh, and then the... Uh, and then Weaver of Fates. I'm also going to throw in the Land Raider, because at this point, why not? Got it. It's got a 5-up Invol. Got a 5-up Invol. All right. And that's it for everything over there. On to the pile over here, where I'm going to start with the Sorcerer. And it's going to attempt the Traitor of Zinch yet again. Warp Charge of 8. I really only need to roll a 6. That's a 4. I technically got a 6. So I should just keep my fat mouth shut. I mean, you do have I, I, two command, point. command points left. Oh, look. You rolled the 2 to a 2. Down to 1. That's like, awful. That's, you got 1 left. That's legitimately awful. At least it didn't turn into a 1. Ugh. Uh, he's going to spend his last uh, psychic power on a smite, and it's going towards him. That, That's a 10. That is an 11. Comes an 11, yep, because you're a plus 1. That is D6. Because if you're high monster star, we'll look straight. That is 6. Cool. Yee. Oh, you're going to get that back in two turns. Uh, and then I'm going to finish off the psychic phase with a firestorm of Zinch going over at the Dune Crawler. Seven. That, that, yeah, it's not an eight, so I should be good. Nine dice, need sixes. Let's find out. Not a, not one. a one. Not a one. Well, there there's, four. There's, there's four ones, but. But no sixes. <sighs> Less sigh. Oh, well. Um, with psychic phase done, with a little, little ups, little downs. Got that smite though. Mm -hmm. Um, on to shooting phase, where I think I am going to start with the land raider. Firing first, as I said, is going to be the land raider. I'm going to be splitting up its shots. It's going to have the um, last cannons. Yeah, it's going to have the last cannons fire at the knight. It's going to have the heavy. Bolters go into the Dune Crawler. Dune Crawler. And lastly, it's going to have the Melta, not just, or the, just the Melta, not the Bolter part, going into the Knight. Uh, and I'm now I, 0.5 out of half range. Yeah. So as you said earlier. I'm six and a half inches away. Yeah. Starting with the last cannons, four shots hitting on fours. Two hits. For two hits. No threes. Wounding on threes. One. One. Five up in vault. Failed it. D6 damage. D6 damage. For two. Two. Six shots from the uh, heavy bolters going into the dune strider, hitting on fives. Dune crawler, but different. What did I say? Strider. Oh. <laughs> so three hits, wounding on, I think, fives. All, All wound. Um, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, four up saves, because he's a three base. Maybe minus one. And I return with making all saves. All right. Uh, and then the Melta gun shooting at the knight. One shot hitting on fours. Hit. Hit. Wounding on a four, because it's only strength eight. Ah, wounding on a four. Ooh. No. <laughs> Mert. Uh, next up is going to be this group firing, or just the rubrics for now, firing everything they can into the... They can't kill it. Just saying, you could fire both, because they can't kill it by themselves. Okay, well in that case, uh, so you firing... Only have four shots, he has five wounds. Fair, fair enough. So firing everything from this puddle into the dune crawler. Not that they could shoot anything else anyway. No, no, they're probably at 24. Yeah. All right, so after measuring and counting all of the different shots, I've got eight shots coming out of this group going into the Dune Crawler, hitting on, I believe, fours, because you're minus one to hit still. Yes. Great. Three. 
Three hits. Three. Fives to wound. Fives to wound. Got one. One. Effectively AP minus one, because I am 50% uh, or more obscured. And that means I'll be having a four up save, which I fail. Oh, yay! Take one. Boop. All right, so uh, for next up is going to be this group here, uh, minus the exalted sorcerer firing everything at the knight. Because um, they didn't move, they get to fire all of their uh, bolt guns twice. So that's another eight shots. Would you look at that? Uh, so it's just going to be hitting on... Threes. Oh, threes, because you don't have the minus one. Yep. So hitting on threes. Rerolling Four. ones. Rerolling ones for just the one. Two misses. So. Uh, and then this is going to be wounding on sixes. Glorious sixes. I got one. Um, actually, a five-up save, because AP minus two, and I'm not 50% or more obscured. Nope. Aha! Pew! Fating! Um, that's just a cool twenty-one wounds to go. Yep. Uh, that's actually, I think, going to be it for my turn. I'm not charging you because I want you to charge me and maybe explode on you. You're going to shoot him anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for my turn. On to Tom's turn four. All right, turn four move for the Mechanicus. Pressing forward with the Knight, because if I can get in there, pass the Land Raider into the actual Psychers and knock them out of the fight, that's basically will be the end of the game. It will. Um, so moving up, making sure to stay in range so I can get repaired at the end of the movement phase. Uh, because it's Equestria, I would only restore one, but she has Necron Mechanic, which restores an additional one whenever she repairs anything. So two instead of just one. And for over here, because uh, slightly less movement, just shifted a little bit over, and I'm going to repair D3 at the end of the movement phase. For three. Meh. Total four damage on it now. Back to the top bracket. And a little bit of shifting up here to get a third gun that I can see the head of the Zangors. Fair. With that being done, onto the shooting phase where I'll be starting with these guys. The three that can see the Zangors are going to shoot. The other guys are going to go ahead and shoot the Land Raider. All right. So three that can see the Zangors hitting on threes. Two hits. Wounding on fours because strength four versus tough four. One wound. No AP. You're five up in the ball. Five up in the ball. Failed. One Zangor was dead. One Zangor dies. Mm. Two galvanic rifles going into the Land Raider. Looking for threes to hit. Both hit. Looking for sixes to wound. Nothing. One arc rifle. Looking for a three to hit. Successfully hits. Looking for a five to wound. Fails to wound. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do his uh, eradication array first into the Land Raider. All right. D3 number of shots from the Eradication Array. For three. And hitting on threes, we're rolling ones. All hit. Fives to wound. Two wounds with AP minus three. Two five ups, yes. Two five ups. Made both. Made both. Warlord doing the same thing. All right. Oh, D3 number of shots for two. Hitting on threes. We're rolling ones because nearby self. One. Did, One. That, did that this just like roll forward and then and immediately then roll back. backwards? Yes. Okay. Textured surface, so. Uh, and then wounding on a five. No. Okay. Why? Right. It yet lives. All right. Uh, knight gonna go ahead and activate. Uh, I really, I, I would have liked it, it to die before the knight activated, but eh, whatever happens. I mean, uh, you could have him go next. Yeah, but I want him to shoot like. Nah, don't worry about Other it. things. Knight gonna go ahead, thermal cannon into the Land Raider, the iron spear into the Zangors, and because I looked from the Zangors perspective, there's actually a little slit underneath this broken building that allows me to see the 
the knight, so the knight can see them. He's gonna fire the uh, cog, not the cognizant, the regular heavy stubber at them as well. Yep. Uh, the iron spear could fire at literally anything. Doesn't need line of sight. Nope. So let's start off with the the heavy stubber, looking for threes to hit. Two hits. Four to wound. One wound. That's not how this thing works. Okay, one five up. No. no. Down to a single zangor. Oh no. D6 number of shots from the iron store for four. Hitting on fours. Not fours, threes. Three successful hits. Wounding on threes. Two wounds. Once again, AP doesn't matter. Two five ups. Mid both. There's a single Zangor left. There is a single Zangor left. Uh, Holding that objective. Leadership seven with two casualties. He could flee on a six. I still have. One, One command, command point. point. <laughs> All right. Iron, not the Iron Spear. Thermal Cannon going to the Land Raider. Hitting on, uh, not hitting on. D6 number of shots. For four. You know what? I'm fine with rolling four every time for D6. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy changing in my D6 weapons for fours. <laughs> that is pretty good. Yeah. Hitting on threes. Uh, wounding on fours, because it's only strength eight. One wound. EP minus four, though. Ugh. So six up save. One six up. All right, no, five up interval, but it didn't matter. It didn't, it didn't matter. All right, and I'm definitely within 18 inches. Yep. So 2d6 take the highest. Four damage. And kills it by one. Yep. Uh, does it explode? On a six. It does. It does. D6 damage. Five. Suck five. That's fine. Okay, up next, the Icarus is going, not the Icarus, the Dune Crawler. It's going to fire all its shots into that group of uh, rubrics. rubrics because it can't see anything else. So, starting off with that missile hitting on a four. We're no. rolling once. Successfully hits. Wounding on a three. Successfully wounds. EP minus three and D6 damage so you don't get all this dust. Oh, all right. Well, uh... You're, uh, you would have a 5-up in Vault. No. Rubrics don't have a built-in 5-up. They, um... I just have a 6. Yeah. Alright. 6 up. No. Fail. Um, it's dead. It's... Yeah, it's one dead. dies. They have one wound. Blap. Auto cannons. Hitting on 4s. Winning on 3s. Two with AP minus one, but they do two damage each, so knows all is dust. Ah. You're your three up saves because you're in a build one. Three, yep. Made both. Made both. Uh, Gatlin rockets. Looking for those fours to hit. Rerolling once. Two hits. Wounded on threes. Nope. No. Heavy stubber, or cognizant heavy stubber. Hitting on threes, rerolling once. Two hits, wounded on fours. One wound, no AP, so you have a two up save. Two up. You're fine. And everything else is shot. So that'll be the end of my turn. Cool. And the bottom of the turn, so I'm gonna gain one victory point for killing things. We both still hold, you owe me a morale, because on a six he can flee. <laughs> okay, he's fine. He does not flee. All right, so I still get the one for killing something and you didn't kill anything in your turn. Yep. Alright, on to turn five. Mechanical for turn five. Light your answer. Fair enough. Alright, so uh, on the movement for Thousand Suns, nothing moved. Absolutely nothing moved. Alright. Because uh, I'm already within the range to shoot with them. I'm in the range to shoot with them. Basically, everything is going to shoot at that, but before that, psychic. Mm -hmm. uh, so, starting off with... I think I'm now no longer in range for his Traitor of Zinch, which is unfortunate. I probably should have moved him forward because he doesn't care about moving and shooting in uh, Boulder Discipline. Yeah. Uh, so, instead, I'm going to just have him cast Smite up over there. Plus two. With a plus two. Because that, that doesn't count as a character, right? No. Good. 
It's not the one the named knights. Got it. All right, so uh, smite with a plus two. Yeah, got it. When you can do d6. Sweet. D6. Five. Owie. <clears throat> that hurts. That's the wrong type of dice. This type of dice. Uh, then I'm going to have this group do Zinch's Firestorm at him as well. So Zinch's Firestorm, Warp Charge 7. Nope. That's a 4, they don't make it. Alright, next up is going to be this group here, casting uh, a Babby Smite over at the Knight. Standard Smite rules. Except it only does one. Yeah, it only does one. Unless you got a 11 or higher, in yep. which case it does D3. Ooh. Uh, then next is going to be a Weaver of Fates thrown on... I feel like I should have moved him back a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm just going to throw Weaver of Fates and Prescience on that one group. Fair enough. See what happens. So, starting with a Weaver of Fates. Six. Now we actually have to look. So, Weaver of Fates actually comes off, or goes off with a six, and then Prescience on the same group. The seven, that'll do it. Yep. Sweet. Uh, so on to the shooting phase, where I'll start with over here. So starting with this group with the prescience on it. So all this is going to be hitting on twos, which is glorious. So eight shots hitting on twos. Rerolling Re ones. Ah, oh. Seven hits. <laughs> so seven hits. And this is going to be wounding on what, fives or sixes? Sixes. Sixes! One. One! All the way out there. Yeah. And AP minus two, so a five up save. Nope, I take one. Oh, wow. Uh, next up is I'm going to be mixing this group once again to fire at the same target. So combining the shots of these two groups, going into the knight once again. Ten shots, hitting on threes. Missed two. Missed two. Oh no. And then wounding on... Sixes. Sixes, wounding on sixes. Ooh. Nothing. Three. All right, well, um, that, that's it. I'm not charging anything. Yeah. That's, that's my turn. Okay. All right, turn five for the Mechanicus. I need to keep my knight alive. And if we go into turn six, possibly turn seven, just walk it that way. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of my thing. He moved nine inches because his bracket, and at the end of movement, my Warlord's going to repair two. She moves only six to get over there. Stay put, restoring D3 to the Dune Crawler for three. Well done. One to go Nearly on. back up to full. <laughs> and stayed holding the objective plus the three that I can see the guy over there. Okay. Uh, with that, on to the shooting part of my phase. Um, I'm going to start with these three guys shooting him. All right. Uh, three shots. Looking for threes to hit. I'll hit. Looking for fours to win. One win with AP minus one, but don't matter because five up in vol. Five up in vol. Yeah, hey, he's dead. All right. So that that's guarantees me two victory points for this turn. Uh, and that actually guarantees you the victory. <laughs> yes, because I'll bring me up to six tier two. Yeah, which I, in turns that might not exist, uh, I will not be able to get back up to. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will, there's no way I'm tabling you. And, no, because so. these two are running that way. Yeah, absolutely. They're running away. So That's my warlord just... <laughs> Yeah, so um, I, I will GG right there. That is a uh, fair, fair enough. <laughs> All right, so I I like Cult of Time. I wasn't able to use it like uh, to its effective Necron esque standard. Yeah, because mainly you weren't having the rubrics in the floor of the battle. Yeah, no, I probably could have put like the aspiring or another like, group of rubrics over by the Zangors but I don't think I would have been able to cast it on them as they don't count for the cult benefits. Yeah, they don't get the cult benefits. 
So if anything, I should have had the Zangors go out and do something frontline, be dead stuff, and have a Rubrics Marine group guard some points. I mean, they did their job. It was what seventy points to hold an objective for three or four turns. Yeah, they did their job. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I feel like I should have focused more on that starting. You wanted to get in there and take out my dune crawlers, and I was yeah, able to scuttle away. I, I know the terror of a dune crawler when it gets up and going. Yeah. Um, the night we still don't run it that often, so it's not that much of a like immediate threat in my brain, which was just kind of a mistake. Okay. Um. Outside of that, once again, High Magister is the best. I just picked the wrong psychic power this turn. Yeah. I picked something that was, you might get it off, and then it might actually do anything. I think that one would be very good against a complete knight list, because Ooh. their characters are knights. Oh, yeah. Or um, a low morale army. Um, guardsmen, other chaos space marines. Definitely Gene, not nids. Not nids, Gene Steeler cult. Actually, nids is actually a relatively low leadership. Hmm. But they ignore their fearless is their stick. Okay, so it might work with nids. Especially if they have some of the lower leadership ones. I think they're eight pretty much across the board. Yeah, that, that could work. Definitely not Necrons, though, because leadership Necron ten. Is ten. Yeah, they just don't care. Um, surprising enough, Space Marines. Space Marines rock eight on a good chunk oh, of their characters. Oh, really? Eight and nine. Huh. So it has the potential, it just didn't happen to pop off this game. Yeah, and being able to then send them in to tie up a unit and whether or not that player wants to risk overwatching them down. Yeah. So my thought process was dual charge both of your yeah. uh, dune crawlers with your own character. Which I wouldn't overwatch. Yeah. I would, I would take the damage and let it repair it on the next turn. Uh, and then while they were like essentially tied up, tied up Send my demon all the way up and yeah. charge both of them. It's, it's a good call, but it... It just didn't pan out, yeah. which is unfortunate. Um, outside of that... Um, yeah. Uh, the game, I think, went well. Uh, I'd love to hear everyone's comments or concerns or otherwise thoughts uh, on the fact that we aren't in the usual area. Uh, let us know what you think about for the level of sound, the light, the, the table itself. These absolutely lovely bits of terrain. Bits of terrain. They're yeah. fantastic. They definitely put a lot of time in And so. there's more. <laughs> yeah. That's just a quick scan over here. That whole, all those shelves, all the shelves over there, and there's even more. There's you can, three shelves over. You can see the tip of some Eldar stuff up the corner. Uh, and when we come back here again, we'll have access to more and switch up and see what we can play. Yeah. So hopefully you all enjoy this uh, and have a good one. Yeah. Hey, this is Nate at Showcase Comics. Come on down. Enjoy. We've got some tables in the back for you and some great people playing games. See you then.